man accused of tormenting Sandy Hook families by peddling conspiracy theories about the 2012 tragedy has been arrested. We've just learned that 73-year-old Wolfgang Halbig of Sorrento, Florida, is charged with unlawful possession of personal identification of another person. That charge is a misdemeanor. It comes after Len Posner, whose son Noah Posner, died in the tragedy, filed a complaint. He alleges that Halbig had been harassing him on the Internet. According to an arrest warrant, Halbig had obtained Posner's social security number and birth date and distributed it over the mail. Halbig was released on $5,000 bond. Well, yeah, I will say a little more. Iggy checking into you guys. Hope everyone have a great morning. God bless you. God be with you. Oh, look at the purple. Purple symbology. Purple is a new world color. You know that? Purple is a new world color. Look at the light in purple. Look, look. Look, purple and gold to honor Lakers legend. Purple, that's what it stands for. Legends, you know, like elite legends, people with power, people with money. Uh, but yeah, that's what I am going to talk about uh, briefly. Um, so I'm not going to stay long on this. I'm just going to show you guys something. Basically, you just seeing what happened. But I uh, just want to let you know real quick, guys, as of um, last week's live stream, that is gone again. Uh, yeah, they got me again. They struck me again. Um, obviously they ain't liking what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Kobe, but, uh, I'm gonna redo that up again, um, and I'm just gonna put both streams up from the last two nights together in one, and I'm just gonna go through real fast and real quick, uh, you know, keep it real, real fast, like way fast, so I'm just gonna go through the last two nights live stream and do it real quick together, and, uh, that's that, so, uh, but yeah, obviously, they're not cool with what I'm saying, so, you guys uh, get the picture, though. you get the picture, though. Kobe, obviously, yeah, so, man, here's the thing, you guys know, I mean, I don't know, man, maybe this dude is being creepy, you know, he doesn't, he looks a little bit like on the creepy side, so I don't know, but still with that happening, it's not good, it's a bad time for things to come, I believe it's Chimatra. Uh, a couple of things I put up for you guys. A lot of things connect here. These are words from the article. Uh, briefly, what this dude was doing basically he kept he kept harassing a um that name. Okay, that name of the school uh, victim they call name of the school. This school, a kid that went to this school's dad. He keeps harassing him. Um. But to me, it looks like the cops were looking for a reason to arrest him because they arrest him for, like, false ID, first false identification stuff. And I know they can't arrest for that, and they will arrest you for that. But it's like a lower type of thing. It's, like, more petty. They don't really bother you for stuff like that you know, unless they want to get you. You know, unless there's a, some reason they're trying to get you. Like, you're, like, doing something that's pissing them off, and cops want to start getting dirty or sticking by a book, you know, that's when they use shit like that, you know, otherwise they really don't use that, man, they really don't arrest people for that, they don't feel like doing the paperwork, you know, cops are lazy, but, uh, in this case, they wanted this dude, so, you know, maybe he really is being a creep, or maybe it's really a bad sign of things to come, and what's been coming already, uh, they're arresting people for speaking the truth, they're arresting people for, for, for speaking of freedom of truth and what they think and what they and what they believe happens and asking questions and doing their own investigations. They are getting very strict with it and they are starting to censor people to a point of this happening. So, you know, I'm not to say this dude's guilty. Maybe he really is just being sincere. Then again, on speculation note, maybe he was getting creepy. I don't know. They said he, um, had dudes, I think he actually had this dude Posner's information, and it, well, he did, he did, and he spread it, Hell, hell big spread Posner's information, and that's the dad of the kid that I passed, let you know, supposedly passed away, and, you know, of course, look what he's calling them, let me show you, let me show you what he's calling them, see that, this is what he's calling them, ladies and gentlemen, Oh man, these iron shields gonna get no more obvious, man. Hey man, I love you guys, man. Just wanna throw this out there, man. Say prayer, and uh, it's all right, guys. We're gonna get through it regardless, man. That's what the elites don't understand is it doesn't matter 
what the plan is, and it doesn't matter what they do, because, like, we know we're going to be I at the end of all this. It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. For real, this is the past time to have fun and just on, on GP, just just for the, just because. Is is to let, this is to let people know the truth and what it, what these people are doing? Just on the GP, just on the behalf of Jesus and the fact that Jesus came here and shed His blood for us. You know, what I mean, Jesus is the only one. Jesus, God relates to us through Jesus. You know, like Jesus, is the one that knows what it's like to be a human. He's the one that came here and did it for us. He did it all just for us, and He came here and kicked it with us so we can relate to Him and we can relate to Him. It, we, through God, it, giving us a better relationship with God, you know, Jesus is, was that, was that, uh, you know, that, that middle man, the middle point of that, and, you know, and, and he knows what it's like to be human, you know, that's the other thing, he really knows what it's like to be us, so he can relate to us, you know, and he shed that blood, he did all that, he did all that for us, you know, and, uh, it's alright, we're gonna be alright then today, like I said, IGGY, check them out.